All the characters in the story are over 18 years old. My name is Barbara. I am already 43 years old. She was brought up strictly by rather conservative and devout parents, so she got married relatively late at the age of 22. I was lucky. My husband is a wonderful man. Over the years of marriage, he turned from a soldier into a general, earns a lot, respects, appreciates, and loves. Six months after the wedding, I gave birth to a son, whom we named John. At first it was hard, but over time, thanks to my husband, who became a big businessman, there was more money and we were able to move to a big city, buy ourselves a four-room apartment in the center. I quit my job because there was no point in these pennies, and my husband wanted me to spend more time keeping the hearth, raising my son so that I had time to go to all sorts of fitness centers and salons. A calm, even, and comfortable course of our lives has begun. My son and I didn't need anything, there were no serious problems. On weekends we could go to the forest for kebabs, in summer, in winter we could go abroad for a week or two with the whole family, we still celebrate the new year together, in our family circle. Over time, the girlfriends all got confused, mainly because of envy, because most, if not all, of them were much less lucky than me, although they predicted that I would be left alone and die an old maid. Someone's husband drinks, another one beats, the third one sits on the sofa with beer and sausage after work. During the years we lived together, mine showed himself to be an exceptionally intelligent person, he never even raised his voice at me, and although over time making love with my husband began to get boring, which is quite normal, I did not have thoughts about cheating. I don't know about my husband, of course, but he did not give any reason to doubt him. I told my husband that I should diversify my bed life. The understanding spouse reacted to this normally. After all, my grown-up son lives in the same apartment with us. Now it's even strange why we didn't buy him a separate apartment, maybe because we didn't interfere with each other. I think you know what I mean. Adults have needs, and sometimes you need to let off steam. And after the last small repair that the young guys were doing, I realized that I couldn't do it anymore. I went and looked at them then. I had to go wash my face, put myself in order and cool down. When the workers did their job and left, I didn't know whether to be upset or glad that I was able to stop my base desires and avoid possible consequences. I probably didn't want to destroy my family the most. Several months have passed. Something had to be done, but I didn't know what. On the one hand, I wanted to make love to someone other than my husband. On the other hand, I didn't want to lose him and lose my family. Then a thought occurred to me. Why would anyone even need me? After all, I am already 43 years old. I am not a young goat. There are wrinkles. She seemed to have a normal feminine figure, but I still doubted it. I decided, while my son was not at home, to get into his laptop, so to speak, to see what the young people were interested in. And I found it, it wasn't very difficult. We each have our own laptop at home, and somehow we didn't climb on other people's laptops. I had a thought. I wonder if my son could like me as a woman? This question did not leave my mind for the next week. I tried to push these thoughts away, but the harder I pushed them away, the more my imagination played out. Firstly, the son is no longer a little boy. He is 20 years old. He studies at the university. He is engaged in cycling, tall, not stupid, but timid, a little shy, serious guy. Secondly, I am his mother. However, I continued to reason and think that, technically, a mother-son relationship is possible. In addition, in my case, I would not have to look for some left-wing men, go somewhere to get acquainted, hide SMS in general, be on edge all the time from the fact that something might happen if my husband or son found out. Nothing good would definitely happen. That is, the son would be a very convenient lover. And besides the new sensations that I mentioned above, there would also be other sensations of a different kind. The feeling of a forbidden connection. Oh, that would be very sinful. I couldn't leave it like that anymore. I decided to start by just checking how my son would react to my changed behavior. From words to action. I chose the moment when, after the first semester, my son started taking a week off, respectively, my son was often at home, and I was at home, and my husband was at work. On the very first day, I started small. I dressed at home. I thought I noticed it, but I didn't attach much importance to it. The next day I dressed up for a shopping trip. My son was at home. I don't usually wear skirts, but I have to act according to plan. I found a black skirt, medium length, beautiful. The son was sitting in his room. 
I can't go in and start nursing in front of him. I put on a jacket because it's autumn outside. I didn't button it on purpose and decided to call my son to help me with my shoes, or rather to hold me so that I wouldn't fall off while I was putting on my shoes. John came out, and I noticed how his mouth was open when he saw me. When I left, I glanced back. John was looking me up and down. I even felt uncomfortable. Maybe I overdid the outfit? It's like I'm going on a date instead of shopping. And this tactic continued for several more days. There were two days left until the end of the holidays. My husband went to work, and only my son and I were left in the apartment. And I decided to do a provocation with my son. In the kitchen, I put kin food out of the cupboards and put a chair to stand on it and put kin food on higher shelves, which I can't reach without a chair. The idea was for John to back me up, you never know, so that I wouldn't fall off my chair. I called my son, explained the situation, that I would now stand on this chair, and he would hold me. Telling my son to hold my legs, I sat down, took a can of canned food, then, straightening up, stood up and put it on the shelf. It was too much. It suddenly seemed to me that I had gone too far, and I did not want my son to think that I was deliberately provoking him, although it was true. Suddenly there was a desire to stop all this, the thought, God, what a fool I am that I started this. However, it was too late to stop anything. I put the cans down, thanked my son for his help and said that I would go out for a walk now, changed into normal clothes and went out. I was gone for 10 minutes. When I returned to the apartment, I find that John is in the shower. I immediately guessed what he was doing there. I felt a rush of heat, but I had to go to my room immediately and then pretend that I had just arrived. The rest of the day passed as usual. My husband arrived in the evening and we had dinner. John went for a walk with friends, and we took advantage of his absence to make love. In principle, it would be possible to stop at these fantasies. But man is so built that, having received one, he wants more. Especially if it's a woman. The son is his own. He will not tell anyone anything. He will not tell his husband. He does not suffer from diseases, and he is always at hand. But will he want me? Or will these requests in his browser remain fantasies that he does not plan to fake in life? The next day became day X. I was at home the first half of the day, and my son left on business for tomorrow. After all, the next semester began. My husband said that his work colleagues had called and also left. I kept trying to distract myself from my thoughts and started cooking. Then I went into a cold shower. Maybe it will cool me down? I remembered that I forgot to get a bag of garbage, a trash can and, in fact, a bag of garbage from under the sink. I opened the door, take it out, and see that the new sink tube is leaking. It was a sign from above, because I immediately had a plan. God, what a game. My heart was pounding in anticipation. Maybe it was fate that told me what to do. About 20 minutes later, John came, undressed from the street, and went to his room to change into his home clothes. I shouted, John, come help me. And she added, urgent. And she ran to the sink, opened the water, the locker and pretended that I was studying something there. What's wrong, mom? He stumbled a little when he came in. Yes, it looks like the pipe is leaking here. Go take a look, I said, continuing to pretend that I was poking around there. I thought we were installing new pipes, he said slowly. Well, we need to fix it quickly, otherwise it will continue to flow, I said. Get in, look. I leaned out and John got in there. Yes, it's leaking. We need a strong tool here, he said, and a rag or some kind of towel. It's a little dirty here. Bring something. Now. And I was thinking a little. Did he play along with me? Since when are tools called strong? In general. I took a nice terry towel, and my son had tools in the closet. In general, I laid out towels. John got under the sink, took the tools, and started twisting something. Enjoy it, I said out loud. Although I didn't mean to say it, the roof blew off and I forgot that I wasn't fantasizing. What's that? I can't hear from here. Came from under the sink. I'm saying that you've been taking a long time. Can you help with something? No, but if you want, take a look here. On the branch pipe at the bottom, they didn't reach the nut here. So it's leaking, he said. It seemed to me that this game was not being played by me, but by my son. Well, this is only to my advantage. Here it is, the nut. It needs to be pulled out. See? Where? Climb up a little more. You can't see from there. Now, I'll help, said the son. That's it. 
I've tightened it up, John said, smiling. Let me get out, and if you want, you can make sure that everything is tight. Yes, I've already made sure, but if you insist, isn't that what you've been wanting for the last week? The son asked, didn't you want to say something? Yes, did you really start this for me? It's not an accident. Not by accident, I replied, smiling. Well, I kind of realized almost immediately that you weren't that stupid. Of course, John, but I wasn't sure if I could still charm a man. Are you kidding? Don't you look at yourself in the mirror? Well, I'm looking. You're not looking well. Come here. Max led me to a large floor, to ceiling mirror that we had in the kitchen. It temporarily moved here while the hallway was being renovated. Turn around, Mom. My son turned me to the mirror. Put on your shoes, I'll help you. He held my hand while I stood on my heels. This is just perfect, Mom. I've been crazy about them this week. Oh, thank you. At least someone else appreciated me. Except for your dad. I laughed. After that, we made love. I got what I wanted. I wanted to get a lover. Well, I got one. I said I was tired. Before going to bed, my son told me. You're tired of your father. Yes? I can see that you rarely lock yourself in the bedroom anymore. I admit, I was even a little jealous of you. But there was nothing I could do. We'll keep everything a secret. By the way, why is father gone so long? It will probably be too late. Well, you get ready. I'm not going to university tomorrow. Mom, why aren't you talking? And I was silent. And I wasn't too worried about these brazen speeches of my new lover because I had already received a text message from my husband. Even I didn't expect this. What are we going to do, Barbara? It's 4 a.m. right now. I can't sleep a wink. The son sleeps like a baby, blissfully unaware that his father saw everything that was happening. That's all that happened. I hope the online community will give me some advice, if at all possible. If my story has been treated with understanding, I'm just a fool. But how do I get out of this situation? What should I tell my husband? Is the family going to be destroyed? In fact, I love my husband and I don't want to lose him.